perfect. Thank you. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Hello, folks. Especially in light of recent events, I just wanted to briefly go over um, why DMCA is criminal. Um, obviously, this is something I could normally rant on for well in excess of 15 minutes, and again, especially in light of recent events, um, I'm temporarily limited to 15 minutes. I'm going to see this as an opportunity to be more brief on my explanations. So, this, is, this isn't going to be irrational, but it is going to be blunt. Um, it's going to be very in-your-face. I'm not going to be very polite about it at all. And um, that's going to increase efficiency while simultaneously offending as many egos as possible. Either way, I see both of those as good things. So, here's the deal. And especially as pertains to YouTube and DMCA takedowns and all that, but also DMCA in general. Um, besides being a complete and total violation of fair use law, besides being a total and complete violation of First Amendment, upon which all other rights are built, and when you shit-can the First Amendment, you start going into a totalitarian police state. Ooh, welcome to that. We're already there. We've been there. Uh, <laughs> but um, needless to say, I want to specifically talk about the, the YouTube um, system and relate the bigger intention of the NCA. Now, as you know, if you get one DMCA attack um, that's strike one, especially if uh, you fail to counter it. And so for six months, your account is limited to 15 minutes and, you know, all this other crap. And after six months, you know, if you don't get into any more trouble, if you're a good little boy, then you get the strike removed and your full status comes back and blah, blah, blah. Alrighty. Well, YouTube brags. YouTube absolutely brags about their content ID matching system, how, like, it's so good that you can even take a cell phone video of content playing through a frickin' CRT screen with the crappiest possible quality of audio and video. And most of the time, it'll still ID match it. Now, when you address these sorts of issues to YouTube, YouTube will be like, well, you know, copyright holders have to protect their copyright, and it's all about protecting their interests, and their profits, and their revenues, and their bottom line, and they, they have the right to make their money on their copyright, and blah, blah, blah. Well, though I don't disagree with any of those things, DMCA doesn't actually do any of those things. It doesn't, it doesn't protect anything. Here's the, the whole point of DMCA, because look, first of all, if the whole deal was about protecting the copyright, then the only action that would need to be taken is removal of the video itself and only in circumstances where fair use law was being violated and fair use law was not at all being honored. Like, you know, let's say someone pirates a movie or something. You know, whatever. Needless to say, those are the only instances in which a video should be removed. So, to punish the end user and, and limit their account, which, by the way, if they're using your their YouTube account to make money, let's say that's a big part of their business to give away information for free. Maybe that's how they put uh, food on the table and stay among the living. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Awesome job to have. I know I make money through YouTube Partners Program. It's not my primary living, but it's, it's one of the baskets that my eggs are put into, so to speak. Um, so now you got a big corporation that says, all right, 
because we feel you may or may not possibly hurt our profit margins when really our claim is just completely out our ass we're definitely going you know to hurt yours by slamming your entire account into a subjugated position and if this happens two more times your account gets removed completely so I mean come on there's no need to punish anyone and there's no need for account removals if the true intention was to protect the copyright because if the true intention was to protect the copyright the video would simply be removed and if it was a valid fair use thing a counterclaim would be submitted it would be rectified really quickly bada boom bada bing you know no harm done to any party that would be a good checks and balances system and not to mention if it's all about making money if it's all about the bottom line then why even do that the content ID matching system does allow the copyright holder to actually monetize um, other people's videos that have been uploaded that contain their content so you know if you have your options to where the copyright holder can make money by default of other people honoring fair use and if the real intention was just to protect your copyright then why slam people with 15 minute limits and delete accounts and all this bull crap the reason is is because they're totally talking out their assholes as far as what their real intentions are let me share with you what their real intentions are and it's pretty obvious their real intentions are exactly what George Orwell outlined in a brave new world and exactly what all this or excuse me I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> flipping dyslexically flipping my authors and, and uh, films here all this Huxley made um, brave new world and George Orwell made 1984 1984 you could kind of consider to be the cr precursor idea to brave new world because 1984 is based around a restructuring of the thought patterns of society whereas a brave new world is you know taking place in a timeline where all of that's been done now it's just about maintaining continuity of the new thought patterns so it really is all about mind control it's to get you used to the idea of so-called authority asserting its will on you and saying look you have no rights you are our bitch you are our servants and not only are you going to deal with it you're going to enjoy it so that's why you know school has a policy of every child left behind it's about continuing to narrow the mind that's why they put all these kids on drugs so on and so forth but no matter how much you dope up a population no matter how much you put fluorine in the water no matter how much the educational system sucks no matter how many GMOs there are no matter all the stuff that you do the human mind body and spirit can only take so much before it cracks and starts to look around and go you know there's something very wrong here things things are not right things are not as they should be because you can only keep the population fooled for a limited amount of time so then you end up with the opposite of their intentions you see people always think it's all about the money it's not about the money money is about survival so when you look at it from the point of view of the individual do we want money because we can eat money does money really do anything for us no it doesn't it's fiat paper it's a fraudulent enslavement system it doesn't actually do anything for us it's what we obtain with the money that does things for us it's it's the items that we are able to possess like food and shelter and so on and so forth and you know with any luck the ability to maintain a relatively happy life so on and so on at the higher level see we're looking to control our lives but the corporations the government the powers that be the elites the Illuminati whatever you want to call them um, they're looking to control everyone else's lives all the way down to everyone's thoughts and feelings they are that big of insecure control freak megalomaniacal pathological toddlers um, 
Now, I don't hold any negative judgment against these people any more than I hold negative judgment against a screaming child. We, the masses, the population, the majority rule here are supposed to take responsibility and be the parents of these toddlers, these grown-ass little kids, and put them in their place. So I, I don't really blame them. It's our responsibility, not theirs. But needless to say, the whole idea of money, money being used as mind control and getting people, um, you know, used to just obeying and being everyone's bitch. Um, you see, money is just a means to an end. The end is total and complete domination. And as much as I wish I could say this is my opinion, as much as I wish as I could say that this is some crazy conspiracy theory that may or may not be true, there is way too much evidence, scary evidence, although I'm not trying to scare you. I don't really think there's anything to fear about any of this, but fear is the reaction that we've been brainwashed into believing we need to do because through fear and through anger and, and all of that, we, we totally constipate our brains and we screw ourselves and we stay in the prison and we rage hard. So, you know, fear and anger and all that is a trap. Now, I don't think the money system is good or bad. It's just energy. It can be used for good things. It can be used for bad things. But in its current form, it's not doing us any favors. So it's up to us to transmute that by taking personal responsibility and by using this tool of money the way it's supposed to be used. So needless to say, um, we're almost to the 15 minute mark here. So needless to say, you see how all this goes right back to answer the question of, of, you know, why DMCA is criminal. Because DMCA is just a mind control tactic. It's to say, hey, look, I run your life. I tell you what to do. You obey me, bitch. And you like it. Or you're going to get put in your corner. Or you're going to get eliminated. If we want your opinion... We'll give it to you. Obey, obey, or else there's going to be nasty consequences. You're not going to like them. So uh, that is the message that DMCA, among many other things in society, that DNCA is putting forth. Even our educational system is based on the Prussian system, which was developed, um, you know, well, it was invented by neo-Nazis prior to Hitler and was really worked on by Hitler and his buddies and implemented in the United States and then throughout most of the world after that. Now please do me a favor, don't believe me on any of this. Think for yourself, do your own research, investigate for yourself, form your own conclusions. If you believe anybody who would say that what I'm saying is absolutely bullshit, then you're a fool. And if you believe what I'm saying, then you're still a fool. You're a fool if you take anyone else's word for anything. Please do your research. Research this. Research the, uh, the educational system being from the Prussian system. Um, Neo-Nazis and all of that. I have videos and stuff on that too. But please do your research. Do not just take my word for it. Do not jump on a bandwagon and raise your fists and go down with the Fed and Uncle Sam and the powers that be and fuck the Illuminati and whatever. You know, don't do all that. Calm the fuck down and just be calm, be objective. No hate, no anger, no fear. Just, you know, or, uh, the biology of a rattlesnake is what it is. And expressing the truth of that biology isn't good or bad. The snake isn't good or evil. It just, it is what it is. The truth of the biology is that you have this biological organism that's carnivorous and has sharp fangs that have poison. That's just fact. So I am telling you the details of the DMCA rattlesnake and it's up to you to research into whether or not I'm being accurate or whether or not I'm full of shit. It's not up to anybody else to tell you that I'm full of shit. It's not up to me to, to force on you that oh yeah I'm being accurate. It's up to you to think for yourself. So I hope this explains better what DMCA actually is if you didn't already know. So have a wonderful day and catch you later.